Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to show you how to add a responsive slider to our Magento site here. And it's going to be, we're going to be using Flex Slider 2. So uh, head over to uh, flexslider.woothemes.com right here, and you can download Flex Slider from here. And we're going to be going over everything to make this exact slideshow. I'm actually going to even be using these images because I don't have images ready for this. So we're going to go ahead and use these images and get started. So go ahead and click download, and we're going to move from there. So in the last lesson, uh, you remember how we added our JS files via the locals XML file. We're going to be doing that some more. However, first we need to get our JS file and our CSS file into our skin. So we're going to put these in skin. I'm going to put flex slider .css into CSS and then jQuery uh, hyphen min flex slider. This is just the minified version of flex slider. I'm going to put this in my JS like so and then we're going to go to our local.xml file okay so what we're going to do is we're going to copy this one and i'm actually going to paste it in here twice because we're going to modify it for the second time that we use it so i'm going to uh, not delete that okay i'm going to paste this in here twice and the first one we're going to add an item it's going to be js slash and then we're going to use the script file so this was uh, jquery.flexletter-min.js and now for the second action, we're not going to have this be add item, but we're going to have it be add CSS. And we're going to delete this type right here. And we're going to change name to style sheet. And we're going to close that one out again. And this is going to be the path to our CSS file. So CSS slash, and then it was just flexslider.css. Now if we save this, we should see this be added to our page. Let's refresh. And we can see we have our flex slider CSS coming in and we have our jQuery minified flex slider and that's all good. Um, let's refresh this page and see if we have any JavaScript errors. I think these are just errors about not being able to find these images. And let's actually kill most of these errors out right now. I'm going to go to my back end and I went to CMS pages uh, and then we went to home page. And this home page demo came with a whole bunch of stuff on it. I'm actually just going to wipe all of this stuff out, all of it entirely. And I'm going to save and continue to edit. Um, well, I guess it needs something, so I'm just going to write hi. And let's refresh this page and all this stuff should be gone. Okay, so cool. Now it's only complaining about not being able to find a print CSS file. I don't have to worry about that right now. Uh, not something I really super care about. So let's import our images and we're going to be doing that through the editor here. So we're going to uh, upload some files. Let's browse for them. I'm going to grab these. Okay, uh, I'm seeing this error, and I don't know why. I've taken some time to research it. I couldn't find a really good answer, but uh, I'm just seeing this on my own uh, Chrome. But I heard that if you use Firefox, they, it goes in no problem, so it shouldn't be a problem with the site. Either way, I want to open up Firefox really quick just to do this. If you're having those same errors, check out Firefox, but most likely you won't even have those errors at all. I'm going to add our images here. Let's browse some files. Let's grab the right ones. Let's upload these things. Okay, and let's add them all. I'm actually going to go to the code view so I don't have to be staring at this giant image. And let's continue uploading the rest of the images uh, well, since they're already uploaded. Cool. So if we look at the uh, demo for Flex Slider, I'm going to throw it into Sublime Text and we're going to look at this. And really, to get this Flex Slider going, all you have to have is uh, it looks like a UL with a div class Flex Slider. Um, and so all we really need is a div wrapping that says Flex Slider and then some ULs and these images here. I'm actually gonna grab this code straight out of here just so I know that I'm not doing anything wrong. So I just need this little bit. 
and we're going to throw this into our Magento site. I'm going to get out of here, go back to Firefox because that's working. And I'm going to paste this in here. And where these other images are, I'm going to go ahead and put these image tags from the ones that we uploaded to our site. And then we're going to save this out. I'm going to get rid of this first one because I have one too many. Brilliant. Okay, and now let's save this. Let's go to our page. I'm going to go back to Chrome here because now that we have this, this all in, let's refresh the page. We should see a bunch of giant images and and we don't. That's because if we come in here, the CSS is already working at stuff, but if we look in this unordered list, the uh, images are definitely here. Um, the JavaScript's just not running, so it's not going to be doing anything. So let's hook up that JavaScript and get this thing going, and we'll be all set with our new uh, flexible slideshow. I'm going to get rid of this logo click thing that we had here from the last lesson. And instead of our document I'm ready, I'm going to do dollar sign $J and we're going to use that flex slider class that we have on that div and it's going to dot flex slider and we're going to do uh, use the method of flex slider here so dot flex slider and just like this we're going to have an animation set to being slide and you can check out flex sliders documentation to see what other options you can pass it and stuff like that but we're just going to use this for now real basic animation slide flex slider um, make sure there's no typos great now let's refresh our magento page and here we have what looks like a slideshow let's click these and it's sure enough slide showing well, now let's check to make sure that it is in fact responsive with the rest of our site if we keep going down to mobile we still have a working slideshow uh, so this is great. Uh, we have a now big old slideshow in the front of our page. We can do a lot more with it. All we have to do to modify this code is to um, stylize things with CSS or add more list items or add things into these list items. But basically, we have a nice working responsive slider using Flex Slider 2 in Magento. As always, if you have any questions, please leave a comment on the video or hit us up at Twitter at Level Up Tuts. Let us know what you're thinking. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and thanks for watching. Bye.